Okay, these last sets of equations on the back are just like the ones before. We just now have an extra step to solve them. So we have a supplementary angle, or a set of supplementary angles, so that means they're going to equal 180 degrees. Well, then we know the one angle is 24, so we're going to subtract out 24 to figure out what this needs to be left over. So if you do 180 minus 24, let me double check my math. Um, we get 156. So that means that this whole angle right here needs to be 156. So just like we did on the front, we want to set up an equation. We'll say that 3x, let me get on the same side as I was doing before, 3x plus 6 equals 156. So we got the 3x plus 6 because that's this angle that we want to find. 156 is because we subtracted this 24 from 180 because these are supplementary angles. So we'll draw our line. And so remember when you have a two-step equation, you do reverse order of operations. So you always want to get rid of the plus or the minus first. So because this is a plus 6, we want to do a minus 6 on both sides. So then we're left with 3x equals 150. So then last step, because we have 3 times x, we'll divide both sides by 3. Which then gives us x equals 150 divided by 3, which is then 50. Oh, and then you can fill it in right here too, that's fine. So just to recap, we started out with the 180 because of supplementary angles, subtracted this angle that we knew, 24, to get 156. Then we just use the angle that we don't know and set it equal to that. And then we solve a two-step equation. I'll do one more. So with number two, this one is a complementary angle instead. So instead of making it equal to 180, it's going to be equal to 90 instead. We know the 55 degree. So we're going to subtract 55 from both sides. So 90 minus 55 is 35. Then just like we did over here, we take that 35 and we set it equal to our unknown angle. So 3x plus 2 equals 35. Draw the line. Again, reverse order of operations when you're solving equations. So instead of plus 2, we want to do minus 2 on both sides. So that goes away. And then we're left with 3x equals 33. Divide both sides by 3 because we have 3 times x. So we want to do the reverse operation. And then we're left with x equals 11. And that's how you do the complementary ones. So this was a review of how to do two-step um, solving for complementary and supplementary angles when you have a two-step equation for one of the angles.